so my daughter woke up, um, and coming back to that, um, so when you think you are manic or you think someone else is manic, what I was getting at is you categorize it, um, put it in a negative category because it's scary because it's an illness. And sometimes people medicate, people go to therapy, and it's generally like an illness. It's not typically or ever, have I ever heard mania being something positive except um, like when told as a reflection by the person experiencing it. Um, that's my stomach, I'm starving. Um, and then the alternate side is the depression. Um, in my opinion, it spawned from the mania because of every single person you know responding to you like you're crazy when you're manic. Um, when you're extra happy and you're typically depressive, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. When you're talking a lot because you're excited, because you have increased, increased brain activity and you're absorbing more, and you're searching more, and you're talking more, you're engaging more, you're enjoying life more, you're doing things you wouldn't typically do. It's, like, beautiful. It's what everyone wants, um, but people are telling you it's bad, and people are looking at you like you're crazy, and people are talking to you like you're crazy, and you feel like you're crazy, so you're bringing yourself out like you're crazy. You're viewing yourself like, oh no, I'm crazy, but I love it because it's so fun. Instead of, am I crazy? Um, or do I have increased brain activity right now? Why do I have increased brain activity right now? Is there a motive behind the simulation? Um, and so, regardless, the point I'm heading towards is the alternate is the depressive, and it immediately, immediately follows the manic episode. Um, I don't know when it doesn't, um, and I'm speaking about this from very personal terms in the way that I have been manic and depressive my whole life and never categorized the manic as anything more than happy, um, and only lately been like, am I manic depressive? Am I manic depressive? And I start thinking about it. And I'm like, and I remember even saying it to my mom. I don't think it's bad, and I'm not calling it mania because I'm not manic right now. I have energy, and I am accomplishing, and I have this goal, and I'm unstoppable. Like, you don't see me. I'm driving towards this goal, and you can't stop me. It's so empowering. And I don't know, just food for thought. What if that's the natural human state? Not nervous, not all the everything that the media and the whatever, ooh, I'm recklessly having sex and I'm recklessly eating and going crazy out of my mind. What if you viewed it as normal, a normal approach, a normal response to your environment in which your brain activity stimulated for a cause, like for a reason? Um, Maybe you would not have sex erratically because you would understand that I'm not afraid of this and I don't have to act impulsively right now. This could last for weeks or months. I want to have sex, but I don't have to be dangerous about it. And I can be thoughtful and intentional. I can delay that need and I can find someone who is okay to have sex with or good to have sex with have sex with someone I love. It doesn't have to be all scary and crazy. Are you driving radically? Maybe my driving is a little bit out of control, but I'm in control of myself, so I'll work on that. I'm going to stop driving radically. I'm not out of control. I'm happy, and I'm driven, and I don't know how to harness it because I'm not allowed to feel this way in my culture. Um, I am the person who absolutely did not believe happiness was real and I caused 
a huge amount of people to be fraudulent in my eyes because I was like, you can't be that happy all the time. They're faking it, period. They're faking it. It's not real. I've tried. I've tried. I've never seen a happy person before in my life. Let me list off all the people I've seen that aren't happy, that pretend they are, that struggle regularly so much on a daily basis. I have never met someone who is happy all the time. Who's happy all the time? They're hiding some huge, huge stressors. And you go behind closed doors and they're not happy all the time. That was my perspective, which is obviously super limited and encompasses all of my biases. And it's not true, although it might have a glimmer of truth in it, which is what I saw. Um, so then you're depressed because everyone's treating you like you're crazy and you feel crazy and it's sad that you're crazy because you don't want to be crazy and it was so fun but it's so wrong because there's something wrong with me and so what happens is you crash and what happens before you crash is you get really angry because you're speaking rationally although fast you might even be tripping up on your words a little bit because you have, you're not used to the state um you haven't worked over it with a fine tooth comb and realized how you need to be this person. Um, you're acting and you're excited and you're doing things weird. Um, and sometimes maybe you do dangerous things, but you don't have to. Like, that's my opinion. I don't really know. I don't have that much um, science about that particular thing. Um, but what happens when people start treating you like you're crazy? Um, and nobody will listen to you is sometimes you snap and you're walking around in the world and you're like my mom's against me my dad's against me my friends are against me I thought they were my friend but they don't want to talk to me my boss is against me my everyone's res literally everyone's responding to me like I'm crazy am I crazy I'm crazy I've lost it that's it and then you spiral out of control because apparently you're out of control and you're saying things weird and you're doing things weird and it's super taboo um and i am just gonna place this huge wager on this if people were manic and they um when they had insomnia or when they couldn't sleep they trusted it and they said okay What's going on right now? Am I responding to something in my environment? Am I responding to something that happened to me? Am I responding to a need? Um, which I'm just going to say this is epigenetics that I'm referencing right now. Am I responding to something? Um, okay, cool. Do I want to stay up right now? Or do I really feel like I need to sleep because I'm sick? Or um, I need to make sure I get enough sleep? Or do I trust this feeling and choose to stay up and investigate what's going on. And when you can think about it rationally and level-headed, maybe you realize that your mania is not mania. Maybe you realize that your mania is um, a natural state you can be in. Maybe you realize that you have more creativity, more vigor, more happiness. And maybe that's what you always thought life could be. And maybe it's right in front of you happening to you. And from all angles, you're getting mirrored in reflections that there's something really wrong with you. And how could you possibly think there's not something wrong with you when everyone's telling you there's something wrong with you? Isn't that the clear defining sign of something being wrong with you? You're the only one who doesn't see it. Um, so if you're Bannock, if you're a genius... If you have so much information and you're speaking to people and they can't understand you, um, if you're up all night writing things down, trying to prove things, you're researching, you're conducting experiments, you are fueled by this information that you're finding, um, you go mad because you literally are all alone. Everyone is reflecting to you that you're crazy and you're like, I'm not crazy, but I can't, but you don't understand, like, I can't prove it to you right now and I don't have to actually. And then it's like almost this kind of aggressive, like, okay, you're choosing to be on that side right now. Um, and so like, hear me for like a person that I am and I'm telling you I'm not crazy right now. When people, I'm not going to list decades because I'm not good with that. But when you're um, Van Gogh and you have the 
most beautiful artistic creative depth of emotion and perspective on the world and people think you're absolutely mad crazy you're weird maybe have weird behaviors but you paint beautifully and nobody recognizes it it might make you want to cut off your ear because you don't know what else to do when you're finding out all these brilliant things and you're taken by this storm of like science or the arts which are very real and is a science um it's the wrong vocabulary i'm telling you the it's the wrong wording for the category of information or knowledge what lies behind art um and we'll call that quantum physics um because of this um if we could categorize it, if we could um, work on our vocabulary a little bit better and say um, actually maybe I don't have the right word for that but I'm gonna wait and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it until I know because then that has a meaning behind it and then that meaning gets carried away and then we all start talking the same way and then it just is then the word is the concept that's the purpose of language is to communicate and then it's solidified so we need to start being really careful with our vocabulary. Um, and when you realize that you're mad and you're to everyone else and you're actually living in this beautiful world of all these things, all these sciences, information is right before you. All you're doing is researching it, studying it. All you're doing is obsessing about it. All you're doing is like living in it right now because it's... It, impossible to not be it. It's like um, magnets you can't not. Um, when you can't not but you're forced to not, you go crazy because you have to. And when you have to but you can't, you'll probably die because you have to. And the method will probably be weird and crazy and um, random, but it's not random. Um, if you need to do something and you're not doing it, if you have a need, that means you have to have it. If you need to and you're magnetized so strongly, you can't live and you'll die. Um, and so I understand why people go mad. And um, they don't start off mad, but they get there. And, um, it's very isolating and sad and confusing, and, um, I've been there too many times in my life, and that's a topic for another video. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and listening, and, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.